Well, everyone, as you can see right here, I have a Meow Meow Scythe, or I guess it's called a Kato Scythe. And today we're going to use this to take down. That's not the weapon. Anyways, today we're going to use this to take down every boss in Terraria. And yeah, this thing, um, this thing might get annoying pretty fast. I don't know anything about this weapon. I don't know how much damage it does. We're going to find out right now. Uh, oh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, man. Uh oh, I hope I hope we'll be able to take down some bosses today. We'll, we'll just kind of see what happens. We're going to start with King Slime here. This will kind of gauge how OP this thing is going to be. Oh yeah, it definitely takes time to kill King Slime. So let's see how good it is against I of Cthulhu. What I'm going to do is throw down a bunch of these and we'll just have them like bounce everywhere and eventually kill it. Okay, cool. Next up is the Eater of Worlds. And of course, guys, if you want to see more modded content from me, modded Terraria content, I guess, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss a modded video from me um and also i guess consider liking if you guys enjoy and there are a lot of cats on screen right now and we were able to take it down nice and easy next up we have the crimson counterpart the brain of cthulhu and taking this boss down should be kind of easy because of course it's easy to take them yeah that, that was very easy for sure next up is queen bee and this will be kind of interesting uh to see what happens in this video because these bosses are a lot more resistant to the cat scythe than they are the zenith weapons that we've been doing recently well, last time to take down skeletron and i know i'm gonna do like a ton of damage right away oh actually that was not a ton of damage at all um do i do more damage like direct hits uh it doesn't look like it so i think it's best to just like fight bosses from a distance and what's really hard about uh this weapon is the like output of projectiles are random you never know where they're gonna go next up is deer clops and hopefully we'll be able to take down deer clops pretty fast however deer clops tends to have more health than the other bosses and yeah as you can see that's definitely happening here the the, the late game boss bosses might be kind of hard to take down guys next up is the guide and the wall of flesh didn't spawn all right i thought you were able to just kill the guide with the voodoo doll in your inventory and the wall flush would spawn but you have to you do have to throw it in lava so we'll just throw down a bunch of cats and hope for the best here oh oh i'm gonna take some damage yep okay oh i'm taking a lot of damage all right let's get out of here next up is queen slime and this boss actually might be a little bit more difficult oh okay she teleported right on top of me i guess she kind of does that though so I'm just going to throw down cats in random directions and try and avoid her projectiles instead of like focusing on doing damage. And I think I'm going to zoom out now because it's going to be hard to see the boss fight. I'm just going to hope that you guys will be able to see all right and we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens here. But yeah, this uh, this fight is definitely taking longer than those darn zenith weapons. However, I think we are about to kill it maybe, possibly, maybe soon, please. <laughs> see, the cats go out in random directions and it's so hard to like actually... Be consistent there we go next up we have the mechanical bosses and first up here is skeletron prime and i think the best strat might just be to throw them on the ground and let them bounce everywhere and just let them build up and they'll just kind of run into the boss on their own and do damage and we just won't have to worry about anything all right now i'm actually just targeting the boss now that we only have one hand left and it kind of keeps its distance so now I kind of want to stop being less random, and I mean, I'm definitely still random with these projectiles. Look, at they just go out in random directions. How many times am I going to say that in this video? Who knows? And you dead. All right, cool. Next up is the Destroyer, and we kind of got to be a bit more careful with this one because, you know, um, we can't actually... Oh, we definitely can do a lot of damage to it. I did not think we'd be able to do that much damage, but yeah. Okay, that was easy. Next up here are the twins, and the twins might be a little bit easier because, you know, there's two of them, and the cats have a higher chance of actually doing damage because, you know, there's two of them, so... If you guys are wanting to try this mod out for yourself, it is called More Zenith Items. Yes, the More Zenith Items mod has way more than just Zenith Items. Alright, here's the strat for the twins. You just kind of run in a straight line and try and time your projectiles right, and that's how you max your damage. Alright, killed the one dude now it's time to kill this dude all right this is it right here come on come on yeah let's go i think that because this is gonna take longer we'll skip all event bosses like uh the frost moon and stuff like that next up is plantera and we got a lovely plantera bulb right here all right we'll throw down my gatos and just kind of hope for the best i mean this is a closed area and the uh cats bounce a lot so we should be able to do lots of damage in theory however 
uh, in practice, it's not really looking like that. I mean, actually, we are doing more damage now. You can't really see the boss health bar too much, but um, I guess you just kind of have to rely on the damage per second. All right, now here's what I'm worried about. the uh, All those little uh, minions that it has, and I am taking damage. Is Plantera going to be the death of us? Hopefully not. Hopefully we'll be able to kill it. Please. Oh my gosh, why why won't it just die? Please, please just die. I'm doing dumb things and running straight into it, to be fair. Okay, we killed it. All right, next up is Gollum. And yes, guys, this time, don't worry. I finally took out the pressure plates, so we can't get spiky balled anymore. And this, this should be a quick fight because we got all this close terrain here. And Gollum can't really move a whole lot. So we should be hitting a lot of shots and doing a lot of damage per second. And I got to get in the habit of keeping track of my health. Otherwise, I can die very quick from just making stupid, silly mistakes like that right there. But yeah, Gollum is dead just like that. Gollum's so easy as usual. Next up is Duke Fishron. And this one, this one might kill us. Oh, crap. See, stupid damage. Stupid. I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh, I have Feral Bite. I think I got slowed maybe for a second. I don't know. I couldn't dash for some reason. But now we're good. And so hopefully we'll be able to do this. And I'm trying to figure out here if the best strat is to like just throw them on the ground and let them bounce everywhere. Or to actually try and hit the boss. And I'm thinking that maybe actually trying to hit the boss is the best strat. Because they'll just end up bouncing around anyway. So might as well try and be accurate with it. And yeah, we don't need arenas. We don't need buffs. We just need some uh, skill and luck. And man, my rhymes are... I mean, that wasn't really that good of a rhyme. But whatever. Alright, come on. Come on. We gotta kill it fast. And we gotta kill it very, very quick when it changes forms like this. But unfortunately, my shots are random, <laughs> and they just didn't hit the boss, bro. You gotta be kidding me. All right, no more dumb damage. All right, we are getting back to the spot we were last time, and I think that definitely actually trying to hit the boss, um, even though the attacks are random, is the way to go. I think that it definitely just maximizes your damage per second. Um, because, yeah, these bosses are way harder. Like, I thought that the Meow Mir weapons would be a bit more are a bit stronger than this okay okay we actually gotta watch out here where is he okay uh let's try and focus here okay dash this way dash this way there we go we're getting the hang of this oh oh i thought it was gonna die right there but we killed it okay cool and now we have the empress of light let's hope i can kill that butterfly there we go i was worried it would despawn but we're good and this fight i'm worried about okay i love this fight i i definitely know the ropes of this fight however i mean it's very easy to die, and I guess this isn't actually the daytime mode, so um, it's not as easy to die, but still, I mean, you never know what might happen. Especially if I'm dumb and careless and don't really, like, get a rhythm going, I might definitely die pretty fast here with this fight. Alright, this strategy is doing pretty good now. I guess we'll just kind of check in when I get to the second phase. Alright guys, second phase, and I think I know why this fight takes longer. It's mainly because the cats stay closer to the ground and the boss stays in the air so it's kind of hard to get those cats to keep doing damage if you know what i mean so yeah hopefully we still will be able to do this nice and fast though and i'm gonna have to fly all the way over this and completely ignore what i just said about like trying to get the cats to do damage here um but phases like this should be pretty easy gotta watch my health bro gotta watch my health i definitely would not be able to do this in the daytime i'm just not that good at computer i could do it on mobile 100 percent all right, attacks are getting kind of crazy. I'm out of biome. I might be dead. I might be dead. I'm 40 seconds on a heal. I'm so dead, bro. Oh, I can't move. Yeah, I saw that coming. I For some reason, I just couldn't move there for a second. All right, guys, I'm back into the second phase. We'll try this again. I'll just try each boss two times, um, so that way we're not going too long here. And if we beat it, we beat it, okay? We're, we're not trying to beat every boss with this weapon. We're just... We're just fighting every boss with this weapon, okay? And we'll see what- Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I think that those stars are my cats and I'm gonna be fine. But in reality, the cats definitely cannot go that high. So I don't know what I'm thinking, but- And also guys, I know this is a horrible strategy and a horrible pattern to get into to fight this boss. But I'm rolling with it. Don't judge me, okay? Oh, I'm, I might be dead here. Fly up, fly up. Okay. We're good. Kind of, not really. Oh, we got stars. Okay, let's keep flying this way. Oh, they don't oh I'm dead. I'm dead. I, I can't move fast enough, bro. Well, I was gonna do Lunatic Cultist, but there's no uh, Cultist here to kill, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. All right, I just spawned him in uh, manually, and uh, I guess we'll just try to kill this. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why those uh, archers. Maybe I killed him earlier on accident and then died or something. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. This boss is gonna be hard. This boss is gonna be hard because it moves everywhere. It flies everywhere. And if 
a cat accidentally happens to hit it when it's in the uh, weird duplicate phase. Okay, that one. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Um, I was worried a cat would actually like hit it there and we'd be screwed. But yeah, this this uh, might just be a time game, so I'll probably just cut ahead until something notable happens. Oh, let's go. I think that a cat was about to hit the right one, so that would have been really lucky, actually. Oh, I killed the wrong one. I killed the wrong one. I think I killed two of the wrong ones, too. Gosh dang it. Please kill the right one. No, no. Wait, I did kill the right one. Wow, okay, that was lucky. Please kill the right one. You? I think I hit the wrong one. Nope, we're good. We're good. I hit the right one. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm definitely hitting the wrong one here. Uh, how? How? <laughs> I'm getting really lucky right now. All right, right one. Oh, I hit the wrong one that time. For sure. Yeah. Dang it, dude. Oh, I hit the wrong one, I think. I think I definitely hit the wrong one. Oh, yeah, we did. I definitely hit the wrong one. Dang it, dude. Oh, no. All right, I'm just going to try and kill it right here. Oh, that's not fair. It spawned into the ground. How am I supposed to hit the right one? I I'm not supposed to hit it. And I, I might be dead, actually, because I've hit the wrong one so many times that now it's just going to be so powerful. However, it is almost dead, bro. I, I just need to, like, maybe try and tank it and do as much damage as possible. It's so close to dying. You, 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 die. Yay, let's go. All right, time for Moon Lord. All right, guys, and I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to only try Moon Lord once just because um, I, d I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Even no matter how hard I try, this weapon, it's too random, and I don't think it's going to do enough damage, especially, like, when you need to be accurate and hit those eyes. Yeah, that's... Oh, shoot, that was very dumb of me. However, guys, I'm not even doing that bad. Okay, that laser's going to start soon. Fly up and over. Try and do as much damage to it as possible, but yeah, like, I'm doing damage to the other eyes, of course, but that top eye, man, it's just, it's gonna be so hard to kill it. Do as much damage as I possibly can. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. However, for once, I'm doing a good job at actually dodging the Moon Lord's attacks, which is pretty cool. Oh, fly up! I couldn't fly up! Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh he clipped my toenails with that, bro. Yeah, I died. Well, let's just continue. Why not? See, that eye is barely taking any dan- <sighs> I don't think- uh, Yeah, this is gonna be really hard, bro. This might actually be possible if you were able to, like, like, 100% accurately pick where the projectiles are gonna go, but you can't. So it's like, don't know if this is really- I mean, it's definitely possible, but- Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tanking the eye part and uh, trying to do as much damage as I can and still only doing like 1,300 damage per second, which is just not enough. Well, it, uh, it despawned. Alright guys, so basically this thing really is not all that good and I'm kind of disappointed. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.